this is the second part of the video in this video I'm going to show you how to use model sim Altera so that you can produce or generate waveform diagram to verify the functionality of the schematic design that you have entered in quarters 2 so the first step is to double click on the icon to open up the model sim software which I've already done here do not worry about the list of library just like quarters you have to create a new project so go to file new project find a project location choose the same location just like quarters go to Altera main directory again find the student folder so this will be our project location give your project a name so just like quarters I'm gonna call it lab2 and your initial then give a library name to your uh, location uh, you can choose the default name work or you can create a, a new name such as tutorial or experiment I'm gonna click OK then you will be asked uh, what uh, file or what items you want to add to the project we want to add the netlist file which is the output file from quarters so add existing file choose add existing file browse find your uh, output netlist file which is should be under student simulation model sim so this is the output file VHO you can close this so this is the file which we have add to the project and the status of this file is unknown because we haven't compiled it using the new software using the model sim Altera software so you need to click on this file right click compile compile selected or compile all doesn't matter because you only have one file so let's click uh, compile selected so the compile uh, is successful as shown in the transcript and the status is tick so which means the compile is successful then you can perform simulation click on simulate start simulation now you have to find this file under the work uh, location directory so choose the netlist file which you have compiled so this is our design file click ok alright you can see multiple tabs have been opened you have sim tab object tab process tab then you have the transcript and the waveform our main tab is the project tab we want to focus on project tab so on the project tab you can see a list of input and output so select all the input and output make sure to press shift key then on the all selected signal right click add to wave selected signal so you can see the signal is selected here because the waveform tab is quite small we want to undock or detach click on this sorry on this uh, undock let's extend this all right so you have your input and output now let's uh, rearrange the signal so that I can I want the output to be at the bottom the input I want to rearrange so that uh, my top input is A B and C next we want to set uh, the input uh, the signal to the input a b c so uh, let's start with c if you right click on c choose clock set the period to be 100 the default is picosecond the first edge choose falling edge click ok next is signal b again right click clock the period will be double you should know why it is double first edge is falling uh, duty is always 50 percent okay then do the same thing for signal a right click clock again the period is double again it's now 400 pico first edge is falling again okay 
you only need to set the input you don't set output output we want to observe once we have finished setting the input you can observe the output by pressing running so this is run if the waveform is too small which means you have to zoom in click on zoom in you can see the scale becomes smaller and smaller because one period is 100 pico let's make our scale to be 50 pico per one grid right you can see 50 pico one grid 50 pico all right so click uh, run again several times because we have uh, three inputs which means your waveform must have eight combination eh? so you have zero 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 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So you can stop your simulation here. And you can observe the output. The output is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. You can check the output with the truth table. So if the output does not match, which means you have to check your schematic. Now, if the signal is quite uh, if uh, is quite com compact, which is close to each other, you can always change the height. Highlight all signal. Go to format, height. Let's uh, increase the height. Let's say twenty five. Right. So the the it has some space between the signal. Or you can change color to the signal. You can always go to properties. Select the signal go to properties and you can change the color if you want to and if you want to print this waveform go to file export image all right uh, choose a location where you want to save the picture the file let's say wave I'm saving at student save So okay if I find my file this is wave so this is my file all right so this is the end of the video tutorial I hope you can now uh, enter your design and finish the experiment too thank you